hello everyone welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time to welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can turn python files into what a standalone executable applications so this is the right video for you so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open the project that i'm just trying to what run as a executable file so i have this project here so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open my uh, command prompt. So I'll just search for command prompt, which is CMD. Then I'll just run this as administrator. So I'm going to run my command prompt as administrator. Yeah. So now the next thing I want to do is I have to move to the path where this application is. So you have to target the path. So uh, instead of you having to you see the move the folders one by one until you get there the best thing i usually recommend is you first open the folder where your application is the right part of your application so this is my application the part in my application i'm going to click on the part here and i'm going to copy so when you click at the top where your path lines appear you just have to what copy up to so if i look at my command prompt right now my path lines up to my username so your username might be different your username might be pc or whatever username may be usually your path will line up to there so if you click here you see that where this is where your path also line up to where your username is so you just have to copy the path there so i'm just copying it so when you come here you just use your cd then paste the path so it means that what it means that if i go on the uh, my c drive or my users or my super admin username i'm going to move to desktop move to app then what this is the name of the folder where my executor or my my python file is so basically cd then you just paste the path there so i'm going to click enter so now it has moved into my path where my my python file is so now the next you have to do is you are going to use the tool called pile installer to run this as executable file so first what you have to do is you need to install pile installer so to do that you just use your pip install so pip install pile installer so pip install pile installer and i'm going to run it so because i've already installed this is telling me what requirements already satisfied so meaning i've already installed it but if you are installing this for the first time you should be able to install now if you are having error with the pip or the python that means what you have to what make sure you have python installed on your system and you also have pip also installed in your system before you can do that so once this is installed and everything is ready now you are going to what run this as the executable file which you want to do so now what we do is you are still using the pile installer so we go power installer all right pile installer okay so now space then we use what double dash so double dash then we use what one file because you want every file everything to be in the one executable file which is what i recommend you want to bundle all the files into what one particular executable file so i recommend the one file so double dash one file then what we space dash again one dash then we use what the w reason is that uh now anytime you want to run our executable file it's always going to bring out the command or the shell it's always been at the shell before running the Python file. Now we don't want that. We want our app to run straight forward. So we bring the W, the dash W to know that. Now maybe in case your app depends on the shell to work, then maybe you have to ignore this. If your app depends on the shell to work, then you just ignore the uh, dash W. But if you don't this, if you don't need the shell popping up before your app works or you don't need the shell to run your app you just have to use the dash w which is necessary 
the now space, then what? The name of what? My executable. So the name of my executable, which is what? index.py. So you can see the name of my executable is what? index.py. Write them. So that's how it is. So I'm just going to click what? Enter. So now this is going to take uh, a little time. So you just have to uh, relax and wait for it to run. Okay. So you can see it's done right here, completed successfully. So now when we come into our space now, we have some new folders which will be added. We are going to have basically what the build folder here. So we open the build folder and have all this here. Now we don't need this build folder. So we are just going to delete it there. Then the other thing is also the index.spec. If your executable file is maybe main.spec, it may be main.spec. So we don't need that also. We are going to also delete it. Yeah. Now we have the list folder which contains your executable files. You can see I have my executable file here, index.exe. Now if your file is what? If the your executable file or your app is a one file app then what you don't need to what put it in the path it can be here you can run it wherever it is but if your app or what your executable file depends on maybe other libraries or other assets to run it means so you have to put it in the place where the asset location is so for example in this path i depend my app depend on this weather icon so this is a weather app so it means well, there is a folder here where it will pick these icons here. So meaning my app depends on this asset. So it means what well, I have to what cut or let me move this executable file into the source where my images are or my icons are. So now I will now delete this now. So meaning that what now it will now depend now on the what weather icons here now so now if i should run this now i'm running it and see now you can see it has launched my weather app for me successfully so this is what uh my app now now other thing is now you know we have all these files here now maybe you want your executable file into one just one file you don't want to have all this here so in case you are sending to the user you just need a one particular file not everything here so what we do is so we are going to use another tool called the what nsis so what you do is i'm going to come to my browser here in the browser so i just special nsis download so i'm also going to put the link also in the description for you so you can also click on it so this is what we are going to download so i just click on this here now i'm going to download the latest version here so i just click on it so it's saying your download will start shortly so you just have to wait shortly for the download to start so this is my download running now so now that my download is finish i just have to what run it so i basically just have to follow the default or the recommended settings here so nothing much to do here just follow the recommended option so i agree uh next uh, and install basically that for you to install i don't so you uncheck the show release notes of course i want to run it so run i'll just close the browser i don't need it anymore okay so now we have options different options here to run as a compiler now we have compile msi script with, with the msi script and we also have installer based on zip file so i recommend using the installer based on zip files okay so then so what we are going to do is now we have to what we want to bundle all these things as what a zip so i'm just going to what pick the uh, zip file itself so 
uh, I can just pick all this. For me, what you can do is you can just create a new folder on how you want your zip file to be. So this is what a weather app. So I just what pick all this into that. So let me get. So I just pick all this cut and move it into this. So now you have one folder containing all your executable files inside here. So this, this is now easier to what bundle as what a zip file. So we mean you just have to what right click this. They what compressed to a zip file. If you are using any zip file, then you just archive. So I'm just going to compress to what a zip file. So now we have one whole app or one whole executable bundled file as what a zip file now. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to what, browse to click on the install based on zip. So now you are going to browse to where our app is. So what I'm going to do is, instead of struggling to browse through the whole computer, I'll just copy the path here. Then I'll just paste. So open. So now it takes me here. So this is what I wanted. So weather app zip. I just click on this and open this. So you see it's going to open everything and bundle. So you can see right inside here, you see all this bundle. Yeah, so it's going to bundle everything. So now you come here. This is the installer name. The weather app is okay. Your interface modding will keep it like that. The default path. Also the output uh, executable file. So all this way, I'll just recommend we keep all this. You just will generate. So it's also going to take a little time and what compress everything for you. Okay, so this is done successfully now. So it, the time, it may take a time depending on what the size of your app. So this is done successfully. So now I'm going to close to bundle the whole thing as what a one file where you can now copy. You can now just take this file, send it to whoever you want to install. So when they click on their PC, so assuming this is my PC and I have this file for click on it to ask you where you want to install this to. So it will bundle all this with all your dependencies and assets into what the specific location where you want to select it to and install it to that location for you where you can have the access to the app and run it on your PC without any problem and all that. So this is how we bundle a file as what executable file so if you have any problem don't forget to leave your comment in the description as well for me to have a look at it and what if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe also hit that like button for this video for me and if you have any comments if you have any problem at all don't forget to put it in the comment section and i'll look at it and what i tend to you so thank you once again for watching this video and hopefully see you in more another